Yes. Welcome to my father's orchard in Afra, Messenia. It's time to make you all jealous with what's in the orchard. So, uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a tour. My dad will have to be with me to give a fuller tour. Uh, and then we're going to feed the chickens and get some eggs and see if we can go get some figs. Uh, here we have uh, dad's grape vines. It was a really dry season apparently, so uh, things uh, aren't uh, as plentiful. So I don't know if they had any grapes this year. This, look at this. This is the rosemary plant. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Oh wow, I am definitely taking some of that home with me. And yeah, on the grapevines, oh, it looks like, oh, it looks like these were grapes. I don't know if they picked some. All right, let's continue. This, my friends, is my father's orange tree. Just a, just a tree in the garden full of fresh, ripe oranges. Holy shit. Uh, again, they're smaller than they used to be. And I mean, it's not like a store orange. They're not, these ones aren't as sweet. I don't know if it's just because of the year uh, or if we're eating them too soon. Um, yeah. And the tree on the other side of me uh, so this is one of my father's olive trees. Whoa! Uh, so these are uh, oil olives. See how small they are? Uh, and that they're green. These ones aren't ready to harvest yet. I'm not quite sure when. I think sometime between now and February. Uh, but I should ask. But I can show you the eating olives. Uh, Again, not a very good year for our olive trees. I'm not sure if my dad's going to be harvesting them or not. And down here, a newer addition to the orchard. This is my father's quince tree. Dude! We just uh, put some in the oven roasted... Oh look, there's a little snail on it. Uh, we just put some in the oven roasted veggies that we did uh, and yeah they were like a bit tart a bit sweet uh, but really pretty fabulous apparently this is fairly new but as my mom said it's like ah it's grease you plant something and it grows uh, this is another olive tree uh, this is one of my father's fig trees uh, doesn't look like there's any on this tree, uh, but there's another tree that um, mom said that there were still figs that she had picked just a week, 10 days ago. And this, more jealous making, uh, this is my father's clementine tree. These are super tasty, uh, even though they're again small this year because of the drought. And <laughs> how tiny this is. Oh, it's so cute. And there's seeds in every section, uh, but super yum. I've been enjoying these. Uh, the other night, when after we finished feeding the chickens, Dad was like, oh, let's pick some. And we picked some in the dark, and I picked some that were more green. So we'll have to let those ripen on the counter. <laughs> this, uh, as a detour on the way down to the chickens, this is my dad's cistern. He has diverted water that flow, like rainwater that flows down the paved street into a grate uh, over by his gate. And it runs in a pipe underground. Yeah, it runs in a pipe underground to fill this up. He said it's pretty big that it goes like from here over to that fence, I think. And there's a pretty good amount of water in it. But I mean, it's a dry 
area and it was a dry season so if there aren't rains early enough often enough then he just had a dry cistern for most of the summer just saying something and i think these are more of my dad's grapes he's establishing different ones throughout exciting my dad has tiered the different levels of the garden into different terraces. Look, another olive tree, because they're just like everywhere. Look, it's another olive tree. <laughs> um, but over here, if you look back, you can see the levels of the garden. This most this is, was a recent construction wall too. I don't know if you can see further in the back, another stone wall. That one might actually be a dry stack stone wall. And then further up, no, further up, there's uh, another stone wall. That one mortared. This was on dry stack? Yeah, it might be dry stack. One of the neighbors are harvesting olives. That's what the chainsaw is all about. Uh, I'll go a bit closer and try and get a little video of that. But each terrace has olive trees and fruit trees and different pathways between. This terrace that's below me is fenced because this is where the chickens are. But yeah, more and more olive trees. So let's go further down. Wanna say hi to the chickens now? Well, it's getting a bit louder with the olive harvesting happening right there. Uh, so this is my father's chicken coop. This is where the boys stay, the roosters. And the other side that we'll go in a moment is where the hens are. Uh, let's go on in. Hello, everyone. There's five roosters. Uh, I don't know if they're a little bit nervous without me here or not. They're pretty big and those talons are pretty sharp. Uh, I think I need two hands to undo this container that has their food, so just one second. So I just gave them a mix of uh, these like ground, half ground grains. And my dad has a, a pump from the cistern or up from the house maybe. So there's an automatic water feeder, which is great. One of them looks like it has some it's cleaned. Uh, let's go collect some eggs. I have to remember how to open this. Got it. Hello everyone. Say hello to the people back home in Canada. These are the hens. Oh my gosh, can you see in there? There's four eggs in there. And two eggs in there. That's exciting. Maybe there's a nest on the other side. Maybe there's some swallows or something. All right, let's go try and find a fig tree. Ooh. So we're on one of the lower levels of the garden. Sorry, bag is in the same hand as the selfie stick. Looks like there's more eating olives down here. Look, it's a little tree. Ah, cute. And some older trees and, oh, that was squishy, but it was just mud. No chicken poop. Oh, here's one fig tree. Uh, but I don't see any figs on it. Okay, mom said it was down at the end. Lies! Where are the figs? I want a juicy fresh fig! Complaining in paradise. Looking 
four figs. Where are the figs? I don't see any. Ugh. I'm gonna have to get shown where they are. There's totally some on the ground that have fallen. Not that many, but still. Okay, I'm gonna look a little bit more. Well, we're here. See that enormous prickly pear cactus? Yeah, that's taller than me. It's like seven feet tall. My dad harvests, harvests, harvests the fruit, like the actual prickly pear pears. Uh, and he knows how to eat them. Oh, look, there's a couple close to the ground. I have no idea when you harvest those things or how you harvest them, so we're not gonna go in that territory. All right, I don't see any figs. I'm a little bit disappointed. I will ask my father and my mother and we'll have to make a separate mission to find some fresh figs. I will keep you in suspense for now.